Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I retroactively installed this uh, wiring harness for a tow package onto my Toyota Sienna. Now, I'll put a link in the description below if you're interested in looking at the exact wiring harness that I used for my particular setup. But obviously, you're going to want to check that link out and make sure it matches your make, model, and your of your vehicle. Now this is a pretty easy job overall. Keep in mind, um, you're going to want to obviously read your instruction manual really well, and I am not a mechanic whatsoever, so this video is just to help you kind of get a visual of kind of my approach and how I uh, installed this in my Sienna. Alright, so let's get started. The first thing I did was I opened the hood and I disconnected the negative battery terminal. This is so you don't fry anything or fry yourself. Now the first thing we're going to do is connect the wiring harness from the battery and basically drag it through um, underneath the car all the way to the back of the vehicle and so your kit obviously comes with a wiring harness itself so all the wiring is uh, provided and there's also all the little hardware pieces provided the tie downs and all the little um, connector pieces so you can see right here on the positive terminal I have some black duct, duct tape right there coming out of the battery terminal so this is the the wire part the red the red wire that is, comes with your harness. Now you're going to have to put this fuse box together. You can see an end there. So you have to use your included material and basically crimp those together. Once you have a continuous line, you can basically wrap, uh, kind of drop the, you can see that wire right there with the tie down, drop it through and you're going to just use those tie downs and connect it um, down through the engine compartment underneath your vehicle. Now let me get down below here. You can see I'm on the driver's side of the vehicle and I will be through all of these shots so I know the orientation might be kind of tough to see but there right there you can see the wiring harness right in the middle of your screen kind of coming down. So all I did was drop it through my, my, my engine compartment and use some tie downs and I just kind of pulled it tight and you can see it there going over uh, those particular pieces underneath the car. So more orientation there, just slightly between your um, your driver's side door and your um, your sliding door van. You can see I have it attached to this metal piece. Basically, the moral of the story, you don't want it to touch anything moving or anything hot, okay? Nothing hot and nothing moving was kind of my principle. And I just pulled it tight and I just kind of brought it through. Now I'll also mention I did this in reverse. So I started from the back of the vehicle and I actually brought it forward through the front to the front of the vehicle and out to the battery. Okay, for the purpose of this video I'm just showing you. I thought it would be easier to show you from the battery, vice versa. But you're going to actually take, you're going to be kind of wiring it or threading it underneath your vehicle in the opposite direction of what I'm showing you. Again, you can see things are pretty taut and very well hidden in the sense that it's not going to get tangled up with any moving parts or any heated parts. Okay, so keep it close to, you know, bare metal or bare plastic um, and keep it tight and use those tie downs that are provided in the wiring kit to help you. Okay, I'm moving toward the back of the vehicle now. I'm still on the driver's side, okay? And going just kind of tucking it up and under these pieces of plastic. There's another shot. This is kind of the home stretch toward the end of the vehicle. And there it is. So I brought the wiring harness up through this little plug on the bottom of the back of your vehicle. Now I'll show you how to access this, access this in just a minute, um, but this was just kind of the visual on how uh, it's going to work. It's going to go under the car and it'll come up through the back of your vehicle. So I'm in the trunk, right? I have the, the, the latch to the trunk open up and, I'm, and I'll show you how I, how I got underneath there in just a second, like I said. But your wires are going to come up and they're going to split to the right to go to your right uh, tail light. The green one there goes to your right tail light. And then the other one goes to your left tail light. Okay. All right. So let me back up just a little bit now that you understand a little bit of the diagram there and how that works. Um, the instructions tell you to kind of clear out all your storage area. You're going to be accessing some of this plastic behind there. Um, and so I took everything out of there and also on the right area here. By the way, I have an all-wheel drive Sienna. So if you're interested 
I have another video out on kind of my setup and how I dealt with uh, uh, the spare tire issue, but I basically carry a bottle of slime here. So I'm going to get that out of here and basically just kind of clear out the area. I also have this little protective mat, um, highly recommended by the way, I'll throw a link down there if you're interested in that too. Um, but that protective mat needs to go because we are uh, going to be accessing um, underneath that mat. So the next part here, uh, you're going to be taking out this plastic panel and there are basically three little latches that you're going to use a screwdriver uh, to kind of pry up that little piece of plastic there and then you will unscrew the, you saw that screw there, you'll unscrew um, the screw there. So moving these, uh, taking these little hooks out will allow you to move, remove this plastic trim piece. Okay. So again, the orientation, if you're confused as to where I'm at, just right in the trunk there. We just took the mat out, and now I am removing this plastic piece. Okay, it's pretty simple. It just kind of pops out. Now, obviously, when you're messing around with the trim, uh, you're dealing with plastic, right? So you're going to want to be really aware of the tension that you put. You don't want to crack anything. Now, here's another look if you just pull up the carpet of that plug. Now, I did seal it once I put that wire through there okay so if you've never done this before that wire you're not going to obviously have that it'll just be a plug so i pulled up the plug and put the wire kind of fed it through up into the back of the car as shown okay so that was the black cord that attaches from the battery all the way to the back but what about these colored cords coming out of the plug so here's a look of the colored cords these go are basically your color your your they go to your four pin connector that's actually going to use to be hooking up to a boat or trailer or whatever. So this is the underneath of the vehicle, just another view for you and what that looks like and how I have that kind of organized and set up. All right, so let's head back up into the trunk. Okay, now um, you're going to have to look at the, the instruction manual in front of you. Um, but again, your wiring harness will, will tell you what to do exactly. Um, in my situation, my green wire, uh, it called for it to come up to the right tail light. So um, that involved me having to take out this plastic trim piece that allowed me access to um, kind of behind the tail light. So let's pop that off. Now you can see there are some little plastic uh, clips that essentially just allow you to pop that out. Now I'm using one hand while I'm filming. Um, but I, I had to put the camera down to, to pop those out. So again, don't snap your plastic there. And you can see that green wire just fed right up into there. Now we'll, I'm um, going to show you with a, uh, uh, by the way, you need a 10 millimeter socket to, to take these out, or at least I did. Um, that, that is uh, the, the 2015 Sienna that I'm working on. But uh, essentially you, you pop out those, uh, those little screws and you're able to pull back the tail, the tail light your turn signals okay so with that out you are now able to connect that green wire that you saw just being fed up there to the appropriate harness okay it's really easy to do you just gotta basically plug them in okay we'll do the same thing with the left tail light we're gonna remove remove that with my 10 millimeter socket and although it's easy to plug the harnesses in, you're definitely going to want to read your instruction manual to make sure you plug them into the correct place, right? So check that out for sure. And the socket you can just use to kind of get that tension going and then obviously take them out with your bare fingers, pretty simple, and put those in a safe place so you do not lose them. Obviously pretty, pretty important. Now you're going to use two hands and you'll just kind of wrestle that tail light off just so you can kind of pull it down and get access to the wiring harnesses behind. Okay, don't forget there's a little slide clip there. And it just kind of falls back. Now you don't have to worry about dropping it. That harness is going to, uh, you don't want to pull on it obviously. But now your setup, Brett, here is going to look a little different than mine because again, mine has already been installed, right? So uh, I'll walk you through what what I did there in a, in a minute but with the tail light pulled out and the pieces of plastic removed well obviously we need to take out the left piece of plastic um, I'm gonna pop that little side piece out here just for extra access because that 
panel, although it's pulled out, it's still kind of tight. You're not going to actually remove the whole thing. So as you can see, we've got another green lead or another green wire um, coming up along with the other the other main wires from the harness. This is pretty much all one continuous unit that attaches all the way to the battery that you just saw earlier in the video. Okay, so let's get a closer look here. And this part's pretty simple actually. Um, I kind of did this with with one hand. Oh, no, I probably had to put down the camera there. Um, oh no, there we go. One hand, you can kind of pop that out. Again, pay attention to that tension. If you feel it's bending too much, you're going to want to pull back and try to find a different angle. So with that p piece of plastic, that little trim pulled back, you can kind of see my, my access, my root of where my harness went and where it's going. All right, that black box in there, you'll see in the instructions, it asks you to use the double-sided tape to find a flat surface on the plastic, and you're going to attach that black box to a flat surface inside there. Okay, now, I used an extra bit of super glue. I didn't trust the double-sided tape, and I didn't want to have to do this again, so a little handy tip there for you. Um, use some super glue and make sure that's stuck on there really well. You don't want that jiggling, shaking around, and moving on you later on, even if it's a couple years later. So don't hold back would be my recommendation there. And you're basically just going to slide those wires up through there and read your instructions. You're going to be able to, um, you know, click those, those, those harnesses into one another. Super easy, super simple job. Um, you don't have to to do much at all in terms of you know figuring it out now this is the ground this is probably one of the most manual pieces of the of this whole job you're gonna have to take the drill out and actually put a hole it's a self-tapping screw actually you don't you just have to drill the hole into the metal of your vehicle you can see the white wire there so that it does ask you to find a suitable place for a ground wire you should know that pretty simple as well I didn't have a problem with that at all so just some more visuals here of kind of the harness and what it looks like um, and just how that's gonna how that's gonna look again pretty easy job so with that all plugged in um, we can go ahead and put our taillights back in now one handy little tip for you before you hook everything back up and tighten it all down like I'm doing now you might want to go back to the driver's seat and make sure your taillights and everything work okay um, with it connected to your battery, and obviously you'll have to reconnect the, the negative lead. Um, oh, by the way, here are my hitches that I will uh, be, be using on this vehicle. Um, it's a two-inch ball there. And I had those professionally tightened down at my dealer, by the way. I didn't have the tools to do that. But anyway, getting back to, to it, you might want to test out your blinkers to make sure they work before you put everything back together again only to find out that you did something wrong right so you can see there my left tail light is working beautifully and then my right tail light let's check that out all right there we go that's working so i don't have to take that back out and figure it out so again pretty pretty simple job okay now as far as putting it all back together again uh, you're going to want to obviously be careful make making sure your wiring harnesses and your wires are not crimped bent um, squished in any way so you just kind of gently push those back in now i'm filming with one hand here so there we go and then my tail light just kind of slides back slides back on Okay, there's a little plastic clip up front, so I just had to kind of make sure that was aligned. And now uh, I am ready to put those, those uh, screws back in. All right, so we'll tighten those back down as shown here. Hand tighten all the way, and then you can take your ratchet and finish that up all right and that should be good and firm on both sides there
All right, now you're gonna wanna put the plastic trim back on, obviously. So again, make sure that you don't have any uh, of your wiring harness there crimped or clamped or squished in between any of your pieces of plastic. Obviously really important. Um, the pieces of plastic just go back in the little clamps uh, and then you can pound them in there as shown. All right, and then this is optional, but I took a little screwdriver and just kind of made sure that weather proofing that sealant there comes back around. Obviously don't tear that. And then we'll pop this little piece back in as well. And on the other side, we'll get that back together. Again, make sure you don't crimp any of those wires coming out of there. All right, and then we'll put this final plastic trim piece back in. This may be a little more challenging uh, in terms of finding the, the sweet spot. You don't want that wire to come across anything, so tuck that out of the way. Make sure it's clear on all three of those points. And then a little handy tip here, you could do the blinker check again just to make sure nothing moved or was crimped or whatnot before you put all this trim back in. All right, and that clips back in like that. And then we'll take our screwdriver and our drill and get those, get those tightened down. Look at the orientation. They can be kind of challenging to get these little bolts back together, but um, you gotta have those plastic pieces up that plastic piece and the metal piece up as shown when you drill it back in. And then your plastic piece covers that screw, kind of clips down like that. And then the metal hook, grocery hook, I suppose you can call that, clips down like that. And everything should be good, snug, and tight. And that is about it. It's a, like I said, a pretty simple job. It took me, oh, a few hours or so from start to finish, I would say. We'll put my little cargo liner back in there. And voila, I have myself a fully wired tow package ready to pull a boat, trailer, or whatever I need it to. Thank you so much. Hope this video has been helpful.